Hi everyone! My name is Alyssa and welcome to my channel Retro Furby. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Furby Trainer's Guide. So this is the original one. There's two different versions of this. And so this is the one that has the original Furbies on it. There's one that has Furby Babies on it. And so this one came out in 1999 and it is by Sandwich Islands Publishing Co. And so we're going to be taking a look at it and I'll let you know what I think of it and if there's anything really useful in here. So um, it originally was $11.95, but I got it for about, I think it was about $14 in total plus tax and all that. So um, it's still pretty cheap to get and you can get them on eBay. So I got mine off of eBay. So yeah, let's jump right in. So here's the front cover. It says Furby Trainer's Guide, Training Tips, Secret Tricks, Care Guide, Dictionary, Fun and Games, much more. Now this guide was made by fans and it came out when there was only the Generation 1 of the original Furbies. Now here you can see the contents. So there's the introduction, basic care and training, games, secret tricks, dictionary, Furby Q&A, scrapbook, warm and fuzzy, Furby party, and Furby baby registry. So I'm going to go over each one of these sections. So the introduction goes over the story of the Furby and how it came to be what it is today. So you can um, pause this right here and read this if you'd like. I'm not going to read it out loud, but uh, basically I'll tell you the gist of it. It talks about Dave Hampton, a toy inventor from Northern California that came up with the Furby and how he had presented this prototype to Tiger Electronics and a month later the company ended up taking it on. This page talks about how crazy the war for Furbies was and talks about how even charities were using Furbies to raise money and how Furbies had skyrocketed in price because a lot of people wanted them and there wasn't very many out there at the time. They're even as bold to say that they are the next step in the evolution of a race of artificially intelligent toys with the goal being that Furbies don't really act the same way, so each one has their own personality and react differently than others do, which I've noticed with a lot of my Furbies, um, even when making this video and I was trying the tips and tricks, a lot of them did different functions at different times, which I found interesting. Like one of them would do certain things that the other one wouldn't do at all the entire time I played with it. So I found that really interesting, like sneezing and singing songs and things like that. On this page they have what they call rare Furbies, which are some Furbies that look quite obviously photoshopped, but um, kind of interesting. I kind of wish some of these actually were real, um, especially the true blue Furby and the rainbow glow Furby I find really neat. This was written back when there weren't a big wide selection of different colors of Furbies, so there were no blue Furbies yet, anything really all that colorful because it was just generation one. And this section is just basic care and training for your Furby. So some things, a lot of things that are out of the little Furby guide that you get when you first get a Furby, new in box. So just some things that you need to know when you're starting up using your Furby for the first time. It talks about things like how to reset your Furby. It goes over the senses, so the motion sensor, the light sensor, all of that. Now this is kind of cool because it talks about accessories and apparently they were selling these outfits from this website homestead.com and they were $10 uh, USD each plus shipping and free shipping on orders of six or more so this is really cool. I love these outfits. I wish that they were still around but unfortunately I did check the website and it is no longer working but you can see all these different outfits that they had on there that you could have purchased for your Furby back then. So on to the next section, which is games that Furbies play. So the first one is Ask Furby, which is making Furby your psychic friend. And I'm going to try some of these with one of my Furbies at the end, after I've gone through all of this book. And we're going to see which ones work, which ones don't. Um, I was a bit skeptical at first, but then I saw some people online that were doing some of these. And there's uh, some secret tricks and things that Furbies do too in this book. So I'm going to try them all out and see how I can get them to work. So stay tuned for that at the end of this video. So this one tells you to cover Furby's eyes two times in a row and then pet his back once. And then the next one is Furby says. And so in this one, you're going to tickle his tummy and then pet his back, clap your hands, 
cover his eyes, so basically all of the different triggers. And then finally, he's supposed to say his name and say, listen me, if done correctly. And then at that point, he is going to do basically like Simon says. And if you don't do the action within 20 seconds though, it is going to say that me done and the game will end. So Furby will say things like no light, which means that you cover his eyes, big sound, which means you make a loud sound like clapping, um, tickle him, pet him on the back, things like that. Apparently he'll even taunt you as well if you make the wrong move. The next one is hide and seek, where you just cover his eyes over and over, and then eventually he's supposed to say hide me, and then he stops moving. Um, I know this works because I've had mine do this before on accident, and then I was in the middle of doing a video and I couldn't get my Furby to do anything for a whole minute, so I had to stop recording and get him out of it. And uh, to get him out of hide and seek, you just turn him upside down and then it'll stop playing. So now we are on to secret tricks, otherwise known as Easter eggs, which are things that programmers hide in their own games. Now the first one is the eight burp trick. So what you do is just feed the Furby three times in a row and then pet him on the back and he is supposed to just keep burping and burping eight times. The next one teaches you how to make your Furby crow like a rooster. So you, what you basically do is cover his eyes three times and then pet his back and then he's supposed to crow. And then the next one is the name trick. And that one is tickling your Furby three times then petting his back once and then you'll be able to know what his name is. So say you don't know what your Furby's name is, it's a good trick to do to find that out. Here's a few more. So you can make Furby sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You can make him hiccup, you can make him go to sleep. Spanish Furby isn't really one. It's just that some people thought that their Furbies were speaking Spanish, but it's, I'm pretty positive they were just speaking in Furbish and it sounded like Spanish. Now this page is interesting, it talks about some remote controls that work on the same frequency as Furby, causing them to be able to turn Furby on and off. And then we're moving on to the dictionary. And so this has common Furbish phrases. If you got your Furby in a box and it already had all the paperwork with it, you should already have a little dictionary. So I'm just gonna skip over this section. And then we're gonna go into Furby Q&A. So nothing too special here, it's just some common questions that people ask about Furbies. Uh, one of them on here being, is there a rare Furby? So at this time there wasn't actually any of the rare Furbies out, there weren't any limited editions available yet. It talks about the tuxedo possibly being rare, which we know nowadays obviously isn't true, it's actually one of the most common ones, but back then it was a more popular color. This page has one of the most common questions, which is how can I turn my Furby off? We know back then the original Furby did not have an on and off switch, same thing with the babies. And here it says how can I clean my Furby without damaging the fur? It talks about using a towelette or baby wipes, uh, but you can take your Furby apart and clean it and take the fur off and be able to clean it properly. So if you have a dirty Furby, I'd highly suggest actually cleaning it. I do have a video on cleaning Furby, so if you're interested in doing that, you should check that video out. And now this next page has kind of a funny question, which is what does the future hold for Furby? And it talks about a Saturday morning cartoon planned for Furby. So this clearly didn't happen, but I'm curious to know what happened with that idea. I think that would have been really cool. And now we're moving on to Furby scrapbook. And on this page, you're gonna see a lot of different little photoshopped images of Furby and some funny little scenes. Uh, they're very cute. I think that these are fun. Some of them made me laugh. On the next page, there's a Where's Furby, which it has Furby dressed as Waldo, if you do find him. And then there's some of Furby on vacation and Furby on a train. My personal favorite is the Furguana. I'm really into reptiles, so I thought that was pretty funny. And then of course we can't forget the Furby Lisa. 
And then we're going to move on to warm and fuzzy. Now this talks about different uses for Furby. So keeping them on your desk as a desk accessory, um, the perfect apartment pet. So if you're not allowed to have real pets, it's, you know, electronic pets are one of the next best things. Here are some people talking about Furby on the internet, how about how badly they want a Furby. And then it moves on to the section called Furby Party. This one has a cute little drawing of Furby on here, as well as a photo of a bunch of Furby playing together. And then it also has the section for hide and seek again. And then the next page has another drawing of Furbies. And then we move on to the Furby Baby Registry. Now this page I find super cute, and I find it to be a good idea if you wanted to do this to scan it. That way you could print out your own Furby registry, that way you don't have to write in this book. But I was actually looking for one of these online, and I couldn't really find one anywhere. So it's cool that it has these little birth certificates and the registry that you can fill out. So it's got this adoption certificate as well, and I'll move this so you can see it a little bit better. So these are really cool, I really like this idea. If you're really into giving your Furbies their own names and personalities and customizing and all that, I think that this is a really cool idea to have with your Furby. Alright, so other than some ads that are in the back of the book, this is it for the Furby Trainer Guide. So I'll flip it over and let you also see the back page as well. It just goes over the contents of the book that we already covered. And then it also shows how much it was originally, which is $11.95 in the US. And so now what I'm going to do is pull out one of my Furbies, and then I'm going to be going by this guide to try and do some of the tips and tricks and some of the games and see if we can get them to work. So out of the Easter egg section, I'm going to do the 8 burp trick. So you feed Furby three times, and then you are going to pet the Furby's back. Now I'm going to try the rooster trick, so I'm going to be covering Furby's eyes three times in a row, and then I'm going to pet Furby on the back. Now when trying to do the name trick, Furby accidentally ended up going into hide and seek mode. So while it wasn't the one I intended to do next, it does show that this game does work. So you can see that Furby doesn't do anything, so you have a minute to hide Furby and Furby won't make any noises or do anything until you have him hidden. And then you'll have a friend go and try to find Furby. Alright, so back to the name trick, you just tickle Furby three times, and then you pet him on the back. So if you ever forget your Furby's name, just do this and your Furby will tell you its name. So now we are on to the twinkle trick. And so Whoa, in this one, you're going to make Furby sing twinkle twinkle Whoa, little star three no times. Way. So you clap or make a loud noise three times and then you pet him on the back. He doesn't always trigger when clapping, so I want to make sure that I at least get him to trigger three times in a row.
So the next two are the hiccup trick and the sleep trick. Um, getting Furby to sleep isn't that difficult, so I'm not going to show that trick. But um, I did try the hiccup trick here by rocking Furby side to side several times. And so I tried it like this, and then I tried it like that. But neither time could I get Furby to do this hiccup trick. So I'm sure that Furby does do it, I just couldn't get my Furby to trigger it. So I'm probably just maybe doing it too fast. It says to do it pretty slow, but even when I did it slow, I couldn't get it to work. So maybe you'll have better luck with this one. So the next one that I tried was the game Ask Furby. And so it says to cover Furby's eyes and then cover Furby's eyes again and then pet Furby's back once. And so I attempted to do this, but my Furby just did the rooster trick instead. I think because it's very similar. So if you got your Furby to play Ask Furby, uh, let me know. I'd like to know if this works or not. So as you can see, Ask Furby is almost the same as the rooster trick, only it's two times that you cover the eyes and not three times, but even doing the two times caused the rooster trick to happen. And then last but not least is Furby Says. So this is the game that's just like Simon <laughs> Says. So you tickle his tummy, then you pet his back. <laughs> Then you clap your hands. Oh, oh, me, uh, and then you cover his eyes. Hey, and that should trigger him hey, to say, listen, me. So he said something about sound, which obviously means that I should be making loud sound, but I tried to clap over and over and it didn't trigger Furby. And then eventually Furby ended up going out of Furby Says. But obviously Furby Says does work. So this is another fun game that you can play with your Furby. So that is it for this video on the Furby Trainer's Guide. I hope you enjoyed the overview of the book and getting to see Furby do some tricks and checking out the games that you can play with your Furby. I'd say this book is a useful little guide to have and I find it very entertaining. Definitely worth the purchase price that I paid and a really nice item to have if you are a diehard Furby fan and collector. Now I also recently came into possession of this Mary Beth's Beanie World Monthly Furby 1999 Tips and Tricks magazine. So if you want to see a video on this as well, let me know. Um, I'd love to do a video on it and show you an overview of this one as well. And if you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel Retro Furby, where I make videos on all things related to Furbies. Thanks for watching! Bye for now!